That's the last of the box. Um, <laughs> Lou well? <laughs> I will, um, I will pull myself together. Oh, huh? not on my account. I just think, uh, I would have been able to get my head around it a lot more if, you know, he'd... He'd been in a car crash or had some kind of accident, you know, but... A stroke. How can something so silent be so catastrophic? <sighs> Does that sound stupid? No, not stupid at all, no. How did you cope, Laurel? Knowing that you were going to become Ashley's carer. Well, it was it was different for me because um, we knew he was going to get worse. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know how you did it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There were times when I could have throttled him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was frustrated. I was too, and. He'd get so angry and cross, but a lot of the time we'd just end up laughing. <laughs> Marlon can't properly smile. <laughs> it's just so sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the future looks scary, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But as each day goes by, you'll adapt. And the good thing, Marlon will improve. This time last week, I was thinking about wedding proposals, but now I just want to see him sitting up, you know, just like any small progress. <laughs> yeah, and that might happen sooner than you think. Yeah, yeah. The doctors say um, that most recovery happens within the first three months. If he doesn't get there, though. Hey, hey, look, look, you don't think too far ahead because you're going to drive yourself crazy. Yeah. What if we need to adapt the house? Listen, focus on now, OK? How much you love each other. Because I promise you, the strength in that love will get you through anything. Things even worse than this. Worst thing in the world, watching your kids struggle. I just want to make it all better. Well, same as Rona does for Marlon. She has to be strong for him, so you have to be strong for her. Oh, have you swapped shifts? You are? You and Rona, has she come back to the hospital? No. Oh, we probably passed each other in the car park. Uh, can I have a cup of tea, please, Bob? I'll just be sat over there. <laughs> my, um, my... Late daughter Dawn's husband Terry, he uh, he had a stroke, and she really struggled with it. Rona needs you. Monday, could you sit down? Sorry, I know you're busy. No, no, no I'm, I'm just bulk buying some Brazilian wax strips. I, I can't even focus. <laughs> it's fine. I'm all right. Sit down. I was um. How's our Marlon doing? It's going to take him a long time. To get better? Just to say words. Properly move again. It's just devastating. Yeah. Very. For you and for him. It's not about me, is it? I just think, until Victoria is chained to that microwave, we just stick with butties for now. Oh, hi. I mean... Nothing from Pads there. Look, about earlier. <gasps> Full-on family harassment, not cool. Quite flattering, if I'm honest. Good. Good. Cos part of us only shelled out for this place to make you happy, babe. And yeah, okay, maybe at first I did lord it over me. I never wanted to do this gig alone. 
with only us, I meant. I just provide the glamour. <laughs> See? You were always going to be part of the plan. Yeah, well, my plan was to never let this place go. Which I suppose might be the reason I've been a bit touchy. Stressed. Emotional. <sighs> OK, fine. What, you're begging? Yes, I'm begging. World first. Just please. Move back in. I'm not going to be living here. And I know... I know we fight sometimes, but come on, it's only like sisters. Please. I've missed you. What do you say?